hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore the paint bucket tool in the photoshop so what we have right now is a simple canvas so i'm going to select a foreground color here it can be anything and then choose the paint bucket tool and then here we have different options so i'm just choosing this one to foreground and just click here and you should able to see my total canvas is filled with the blue color. I pick any color here and then click here in the canvas and I get the color filled in the background. Let's say if you have a, a white background which is default and you don't want the color to be filled completely through the canvas then go to the marquee selection tool and then use the paint bucket tool and then it fills that in that selected area only. and most importantly it will work for the other selection tools whether you are using a lasso tool or magic wand tool this selection tool or this paint bucket tool will work okay and uh, paint bucket tool fills your uh, foreground color there are other ways to fill the colors that is if you have something in the foreground color selected press alt backspace and then that will fill the color if you want to fill the background color right now we have yellow color here so if i hold control backspace then that will fill uh, the selection with the background color okay so in paint bucket tool you only have foreground color and then you can fill it with this selection with the foreground color there you have uh, apart from that you have pattern so if you click the pattern you have a chance to select the pattern and then fill that pattern uh, fill that selection with the pattern you, which you have selected here okay and whenever you are filling before uh, filling if you just right click in the selection you get a list of blending modes you can choose let's say if you have uh, filled this with the green color okay let me click that and now I choose the pattern which is the grid and then uh, if I right click and then um, pick the multiply blending mode and then it just do does this if not uh, if you choose the normal mode it gives white and black thing and if I choose the screen blending mode white will be kept and black will be uh, replaced by the green color okay so blending modes uh, sometimes uh, very um, becomes very handy and you have opacity let's say if i choose opacity of 25 percent and then I've, if i pick the red color and then it's not filling completely red here it's only 25 percent of red which is giving me this nice leaf color there okay so we have a uh, tolerance and uh, all other features which we had in magic wand tool so these features are generally used for a different purpose not here now what's that let me open this uh, file which is having a nice solid background and a colorful shed. So, so solid background is uh, very, I mean, it's single color from the whole canvas. It's not changing as if if you see the shed, it has got highlights, shadows, the yellow tones are continu uh, continuously changing that. So what I'm doing is I'm choosing a tolerance of 10 and then pick a nice green color there and then click here in the background and you should able to see the total background is replaced with the color it's not filling the subject at all okay so it's very easy to do that we have this option called contagious so what that actually does is when i click in this area it only fills that uh, island i can say uh, i don't know whether that word is suitable but that island is only filled and it's not crossing that selection where this area uh, has also got the maroon and if I click here it gives that whole thing now contagious uh, basically is uh, let me go back to the history okay so if I choose the contagious here it's, it's not filling that and if I switch it off then it fills the whole canvas and you get that uh, muddy effect that's a fringe uh, effect here which is not filling properly and that uh, the reason is uh, the tolerance value is 10 increase it to 30 32 
so it just fills it because the range is slightly changing here whereas when i if i want to fill the color in the shed area okay uh, again uh, the shed is not completely filled the reason is the range of colors are continuously changing so you can go for a higher tolerance value like 80 and then it should fill the colors uh, in that area okay so we have uh, anti-aliasing feature off and uh, uh, you know what is anti-aliasing uh, feature generally does when I go close the pixels are like they are blending here so when I switch it off uh, they don't blend actually so you should see there is a sharp cutout so that's because of anti-alias feature off and all layers are uh, basically when your artwork is in multiple layers okay and then you want to fill across the layers you switch on all layers option